Well, Michelle, when we come to the beach, we expect to see some sand and unobstructed views of the Gulf's water. And take a look over here. There's some heavy construction equipment moving into the park here at Lynn Hall Park. And you're going to see a lot more heavy construction equipment that's going to fill this up later today. Now, starting Monday, crews will use that equipment to make repairs to just this. The shoreline ripped up during Hurricane Ada. The dunes need some help, too. Lee County figures 6,000 tons of sand will do the trick. This beach renourishment project will run from the pier to the north end of Lynn Hall Park. Today, they're getting that gear in place. It was a safety concern. There's about a two or three foot uh, escarpment left after Tropical Storm uh, Ada left. So that's a safety concern and we're, you know, that's why we did this as an emergency uh, purchase process. The project will finish up on December 24th, just in time for a Christmas beach day. In the meantime, the county recommends going to other beaches like Bowditch Point Park and Crescent Family Beach Park on Fort Myers Beach. The south end of Lynn Hall Park will still be open for parking and so will the bathrooms and showers. Great, like I said, like especially with right now in this world being just so stressful and everything. I'm an ER nurse up in Michigan, so I'm like, with all of this stuff, I'm like, to be able to come down and have a nice beach to literally just relax and like, just breathe in the nicer, it, it makes a big difference. Making repairs doesn't come cheap. Who's footing the bill in the next half hour? Reporting live in Fort Myers Beach, Gail Levy, Wink News Now.